Um, you know, and, and Sarah will be up here in a little bit, but uh, the graft is torn. It is an ACL tear, and, you know, she's going to work on rehabbing and getting as strong as she can and continue to be part of the Slobo program. And uh, she will have the Lobo uniform on, and she will be playing. How big of a blow is it? You know, and, and again, you know, I talked about being healthy and having bodies. So, you know, unfortunately, picking her preseason uh, first team all conference, it's it's a blow. It's it's it is a blow to the team. But at the same time, this team has a ton of heart, and I'm really really impressed with them. I am very proud of them. Uh, you know, Sarah will be able to help us still on the sidelines, and uh, we'll prepare this team to win. You know, they'll be, it'll be by committee again, but I think Caroline Durbin's one, Jordan Erskine. I think, um, you know, I'm probably going to forget some people, but uh, Diva Vaughn will have to step up. Whitney Johnson looks very good in the post. Uh, you know, and everybody's just stepping up and playing their role and playing well. Uh, you know, I, I, Nikki's done a, a tremendous job coming back from two, leading us in the point guard position, and she looks terrific. So it's going to be by committee, but again, um, you know, Sarah doesn't want – people to feel sorry for. Uh, I don't want people to feel sorry for this team. Uh, we're going to get in there and, and we're going to battle. Was there a hesitation in, in having a, a scrimmage during the house just because of bodies and then obviously this happened? Well, you know, I mean, I, I rack myself with that, you know, and I do. And I have probably the last three or four days. But they've, been, they've played pickup for an hour and a half, two hours. They've gone harder in pickup. The scrimmage was 10 minutes. Um, so, you know, I, I just. I'm not real sure how much you you have to just keep a player on the sideline. They want to play, and Sarah's a kid that wants to play, and I'm not going to hold her back from that. The, uh, the other returners that you have back, um, how big of a role are they going to play this year considering how such a young team? Well, and that, that's the key, and I had talked to them early on, and I, you know, people like Caroline, like Jordan, like Chin, you know, those people have to be uh, aggressive and score. Nikki Nelson's got a beautiful outside shot. She's got to look to take that more times than not. Uh, and as a coaching staff, we need to put them in positions to be successful. And that's what we're going to do. And like I said, these guys have a tremendous heart. Um, you know, I like what we have in, in our team. Uh, I think the other players that, that step up, you know, Portia Torrance is an uh, all defensive conference player. Uh, I think she can be a, a big time scorer in this conference as well. She's going to run the team, and she's done a great job in that so far. Uh, she's a good point guard. She's a vocal leader. Uh, she hits the three-point shot, uh, and uh, she's, she's done a tremendous job coming back from two surgeries and being a vital part of this team. And, you know, I'll lean a lot on Nikki just because of it's a point guard position, and, and uh, I was that at one point. But uh, she's done a tremendous job so far. What about just the expectation level? I mean, you had an entire class effect. Now you lose Sarah. I mean, a lot of new girls. You've obviously been with the program for a long right. time, but now you're the coach, and there is a little bit of a change over there. Right. So is the expectation level still the same, a conference championship and the NCAA tournament? It has to be. I mean, I, I can't go in and, and, you know, just because we've had some adversity, I can't tell these kids, well, let's hope for a mediocre year, because that's not how we prepare them, you know, to go out. We tell them they got to go there do their hardest, leave it all on the court so we can win basketball games. So that's our expectations. As a coaching staff, we're going to put them in positions to win basketball games. And I truly believe as players, they're going to put us in positions that, to win games. And, and we have to look at it that way. You know, we, uh, we can't have, we can't lower our expectations because of adversity. So we got to keep them, you know, we got to keep them up so we can try to prepare to win games. What about you yourself? Just Uh, everything. <laughs> it's been good, you know. I mean, again, as a head coach, you're dealing with adversity. Uh, you know, when I'll give a good example, Sarah went down last year. You know, I mean, I'm thinking of a hundred other things in recruiting, and you know, just different things. Now that you know, we have limited bodies, and we got to preserve them. I'm the one that has to kind of preserve them and, and come up with some practice plans and be a little bit creative, so we keep them the entire year. So those are the things that, that you know, you kind of learn how to do and involve your staff. And, you know, there's just, it is a learning process for me, but it's, it has been a lot of fun.
It really has. Can you explain the idea how the idea came about of having the guys out there helping you where they came from in high school? Every, every place I've been, we've had practice players. You know, I've been at New Mexico State and San Diego State. So uh, when you go down to the Final Four and you get ideas from other coaches, everybody has them. And I think more so this year, it's the best time to have them. Because of, and they've done a terrific job. So uh, Jack, Jarrell, Zach, and, uh, and um, I think I'm missing one, Dylan, uh, they have come in and embraced the role. I got them from a former manager. Uh, they had to go through all the clearinghouse and NCAA stuff, and uh, they were willing to do that. And they've been a tremendous help for me, for this team. They're great guys, and uh, they're going to help us win basketball games. How did you approach them about it? Uh, I got Jarrell's number first, and I called him, and I said, this is what I'm trying to do. And he goes, okay, I've got other guys. So we, we initially had six. Uh, six dropped to four. I might try to find a couple at semester. Uh, so we can get back to six and then um, just go from there. But I told him, here's all the things that you, can, you have to do in terms of the NCAA clearinghouse, uh, and here's a pair of shoes. <laughs> and you get to get beat up by the girls every day. And I'm telling you, they're terrific. They, they really are. So I, I'm fortunate to have the group of guys that I have, and I am fortunate enough to have the group of players that I have. I wouldn't trade this team for any team right now, and we're going to battle together. They, they bring bodies, and that's the most important. They bring a little bit of physical play. Uh, and again, um, I have to watch what we're doing because we're still a little bit nicked up. But uh, they just bring uh, some other energy that uh, you know our kids feed off of. You see how fast they are. You see how quick they are to, to run to the ball and do some different things. And our players feed off of them. How about uh, Diva? You mentioned her. Uh, she's obviously a local person. Yes. You know, I'll, I'll use Diva. As soon as she's ready to go, I'll use her right away. She's been cleared, um, but it, it does take a while. You know, she had an ACL tear uh, at Northern Oklahoma, so, you know, she's still a little bit nicked up with that. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's just all the tendonitis and things that you go through when you go through those tears. Um, she has done everything that we've asked her to do. She's doing extra rehab. She's doing extra cardio. Uh, we make sure that she gets in there. But, you know, Diva's an important part of this team like everyone else is. And we're going to need everybody that we have to help us win basketball games. And she's no exception. What sort of challenge does that present? Having a kid, I mean, that's a huge, obviously, responsibility on top of practice and school. It is. And you know what? She's done a terrific job with it. I mean, I couldn't imagine. And I don't know if any of our players could. We've had a couple. I've had experience with when I was at New Mexico State, and it's it's tough, you know, just to find a babysitter, just to um, you got to go home and study, and your baby's crying, or you have to feed her, and and uh, it's it presents a lot of challenges for Diva. Uh, Diva's such a strong person; she's such an incredible mom, and she's gonna be. And uh, I know that she's got a lot of people that'll help her out. Do you have any idea what the starting lineup will look like? For if we could start probably six or seven, I have an idea. <laughs> you know, other than that, uh, I don't. You know, there's a few people I have in mind. I mean, Nikki's got the most experience at the point guard. Uh, you know, Caroline's doing a great job at that two guard. Obviously, Porsche's a mainstay, and Porsche's doing an excellent job. But other than that, it, it could change. You know, there's, there's a couple of spots that are still open.